Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a deep clean of my living room. It doesn't look too messy, but there's just a lot of dirt. It's not been deep cleaned in a long time and I don't even want to know what's under that couch. So I'm going to start off just with a really quick clean of this table because I can see there was marks on it from lunchtime. So I'm giving it a wipe down with the pink stuff, which always smells so good and so fresh. And I'm going to wipe down these chairs. I actually DIY'd these chairs last year and they've held up pretty well but I think just with the kids being so rough with them they do need a good respray this spring. So I'm going to do that once it's warm enough to get everything outside. I'm going to spray them all down because you can see wee chips in them and also if you want to give them a really good clean sometimes you do have to give them a scrub. We all know what it's like with Weetabix. Onto the plant shelf, I'm just taking all these plants down. Guys, I actually can't believe these are even still alive. I usually kill plants really quickly, but I think because these ones are always in sight, I just remember to water them, or maybe it's just because they're a lot of them are peace lilies and they just are hard to kill, but they've actually lasted pretty well. So I'm giving them all a wee water and I'm going to pop them back up there. I actually really can't wait to show you what I've got planned for this living room. This wee shelf will be coming down soon, and the mirror's going soon. I'm planning to do like a big kind of media wall storage unit here um, all built in and have it on the other side as well I've been making so many plans I can't wait to share okay so on to the main event I'm going to be sorting out this couch I actually haven't deep cleaned this in probably five or six months like it's been quite a while so I'm just taking all the cushions off I usually do this in two parts just because it takes so long for the cushions to dry um, so I'll do one half and then the next day I'll do the other half. So first half I'm just taking them off and I'm just hoovering underneath. There's like crumbs and everything else. This is always where the kids sit so it just gets really messy. And then I'm doing this arm mess because there's been quite a few things spilt on it. I'm just using Dr. Beckman's carpet cleaner which always works so well on this. If you have a fabric sofa, it's always best to get it professionally cleaned. We've had it done quite a lot, but I found after a while, this is like six years old, this couch. Um, sometimes it's quicker just to use this wee carpet cleaner. And I also resorted to taking the covers off at one point. Um, and I know they say you're not supposed to do that, but by the time I'd found that out, I'd already done it. So we just continue to do it now. It is an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to lie. See, getting these cover covers off the cushions and then get them back on it is a bit of a nightmare but it gives it such a freshen up it makes it smell really good it really brings the color back up and it just it makes a huge difference so it's a lot of pain but for a lot of gain and i should call you see what you and I'm going to do all of our cushions as well. These are actually stuffed with two cushions just to make them extra plump. So I'm taking everything and putting it all aside to get washed. And then I'm just going back and rinsing this with water. So you basically leave that bit for 10 minutes and then rinse it all off with water and let it dry. And it usually dries really, really nice and clean. And then I'm pulling out this couch and wait till you see what has been underneath. Oh my goodness, this is embarrassing. So it's a mix of toys, socks, wrappers and god knows what else under here so I'm brushing it up and I'm not going to lie this feels like an extreme clean that you would see on like a hoarder's house or something <laughs> it's really bad but um, I've just been really picky with it taking the things out that I'm going to keep and binning the things that we will not miss. I think when you get to this stage of a deep clean you realise how much you don't want any mess or dirt in this room whatsoever once we finish so you start being really really ruthless and yeah I ended up pulling the whole couch apart which was really really needed like there was just so much stuff under here and now I'm going to be mopping all the floors. I got this new mop recently from Amazon and I absolutely love it. 
you just don't realise how much the wee spray mops don't pick things up. Even the steam mops, there's just nothing better than a bit of flash in one of these buckets and this one has the wee feature on it where you put the mop in and it spins round. It's really, really good. So I'm just making sure I get absolutely everything, cover all the floor and I'm also going in and wiping down the skirting boards as well. And I'm just wiping down the walls as well because there's been things like spilt down the back that we've probably not known about for ages. Um, and then I'm just going to be really careful not to move any dust back in. So I've pushed the couch back in and I just keep re-sweeping because you know what it's like when it's this messy. Every time you move things, the dust goes back in the air and settles again. So I'm just brushing and mopping everywhere. So because I'm only washing one half of the couch, I'm just going to move the cushions from the other side over to this side because this is where we usually sit and at least we'll have something to sit on tonight um, and then I'm just going to hoover this one up as well. Next I'm just going to pull out this big rug and I always I get so frustrated with these because even when you hoover it doesn't pick everything up, you kind of have to give it a good shake and the amount that comes out of it, you just know you're never really getting it clean so I'm moving it out of the way just now and I'm going to deal with that another day but look how much came out of that even just from turning it upside down, like it's so bad. <laughs> The good thing about all this stuff is that we weren't actually aware that we were missing any of it so I'm being really really ruthless in making sure that we are not just ending up with more mess after doing this and a lot of stuff was getting binned. Um, so I'm just getting rid of all this dust on the skirting boards, wiping everything down, mopping, dusting. I really at this point did not want to see one speck of dust in this whole room. Although with that being said, I was not about to pull out all these wires because I would no idea how I would have no idea how to put them back together. So I'm just giving this like a little wipe, but then I'm leaving them be and pushing the couch back in. And now onto this little toy box area, another one that just kind of gathers dust behind it. I really can't wait to get some built in units and shelves and stuff to keep all the kids toys and we're going to get that radiator moved over i'll do that in a different video i'll explain exactly what we're doing um but yeah i think we need a whole storage overhaul in here Okay, I'm glad you actually get to see this wee mop in action here. I'll leave it linked below. It's really the best thing ever. Um, and then once I pulled this out, I realised there was dust all along the back of this cabinet. So how satisfying is this wee clip? Just getting all that away. So I'm just kind of putting everything back where it should be and just tidying up all this mess that's accumulated on the table. Why did I do that one first? Um, and I'm going to move on to the fireplace. We actually never have this on. But it's not actually been dusted or wiped down in a while and we did have things up here at Christmas time. So I'm just giving it a wipe down with some warm soapy water. Found what we're looking for in life 
I really do love having wipeable paint on the walls. It really makes such a difference when you can just wipe things down and not worry about it leaving marks. That's something I would always recommend for anyone with children. And even though I've spent half this video sweeping up, I'm now going to go in with the hoover just to pick up anything and make sure, like I said, there is not a speck of dust in this room. And here we go again with the magic mop, the flash almond wooden floor one is so good. Like I wish you could smell how lovely it smelled in here. And now I'm just going to put in the cushion covers for a wash. I just put them on a full cycle with a normal fairy non bio capsule and I put in a little bit of fabric softener as well. I usually do these, like I said, over the course of two days. The trick is to put the covers back on your cushions when they're wet and then set them in front of the radiator to let them dry. If you wait for them to dry first and then try and get them on, you will really struggle. Okay, kids are all back in now, so I'm just getting the glass done on this big mirror and I'm just going to use the wee squeegee thing as well, which is always so satisfying. And because we're waiting for these cushion covers to dry and for them to go back on, let's skip to the next day when the couch is all put together again. And I'm just going to use the Unstoppables fabric spray, which smells so, so good. Just give it a lovely spray. I've washed the throw and the cushion covers as well, so it just smells so fresh in here. It's absolutely lovely. And I'm just going to light this wee Yangi candle. I think I got this from Asda. No, it's Home Bargains actually. And it's in Cherry Berry and smells so fresh. Guys, I can't even explain how satisfying this clean has been. It feels so nice in here. I haven't put the rug down and I actually think I might get a new one because there was just no way to get that rug as clean as the rest of this room. So I'm leaving it as it is just now. But yeah, it smells amazing. There is no dust in here. It just was such a satisfying day i hope you've enjoyed watching this don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this type of video and i'll see you soon bye